Cycle 10, week one, Wendler, strip curl and stretch press. Just kind of making up a workout since I didn't have a chance to do the workout because of the competition I just did. This is 77 pounds on the bar for strip curl warm up. And here's just some strict press warm ups. This is on the axle bar that I made. I think this is like, it's a weird weight. It's like 108 pounds. Another warm up set. I think this is right on 130. So here's the main work for strict press and strict curl. The strict press weight is 152 and the strict curl weight is 100.3. I just supersetted these that way at the same time. I would strict press first for five reps and I would take my camera, walk over, and I would do, I'd set it up and do five reps of the strict curl weight. I just did this to save time. Can't remember if I said it or not either, but this is uh, the homemade axle bar that I made. It wasn't really super hard to do. I mean, it comes in 10 foot sections and I just had the metal shot cut off three foot. And those three foot pieces, I'm gonna turn into axle dumbbells. So all you have to do is get the right size pipe. And that's about it. Then you just have to, well I did just to make it easy to use and quick to use was I just welded some some beads like in a line on top of each other that way they acted as kind of like weight stoppers I'm not really sure what the correct word is for them but I call them weight stoppers it's what stops the weight from just going into the middle of the bar but I'm gonna end up grinding off the welds and redoing it and I bought some oversized washers off of Amazon and I'm gonna weld those into place 16 inches on each side from the end of the bar to act as weight sleeves which will add some weight to the bar it'll make it so that the bar doesn't weigh just 18 pounds it'll probably come out to being pretty much a perfect 20 pounds once I put those oversized washers on them so overall, it was a really good workout. I mean, I kept it really simple. It's just first set last uh, weights today. 100.3 for the curl, 152 for the press. So really light stuff, five by five for each. And I did my tricep work in the hand. I made sure to go nice and slow instead of using momentum to kind of get the weight up. So I just did 70 pounds, 20 reps, five sets. Kind of still got a little bit of tendonitis going on. I have another contest this Saturday. It's only a bench press, not a strip curl and bench, only bench. It's with the RPS Federation. This last contest, I ended up benching 341. I had more in the tank, so I think this weekend, I'm gonna probably try to get in the 350s or as close to 350 as I can, really. Yeah, so after this, last contest well this next contest rather in uh on saturday this saturday i'm supposed to come back and start cycle 10 week three which is the heavy week but since i still got some tendonitis issues going on i'm just gonna i have one more exercise this week the bench press i'm gonna do it on tuesday then i have the contest on saturday then i'm taking a week deload i'm not gonna do anything that week no no weight no lifting at all and after that week long deload is done i will start cycle 10 week three which is a heavy week so it's probably gonna be not a great week of lifting since i'm gonna be taking a week off before and usually when i take a deload and do nothing 
weights feel pretty darn heavy when I come back. So that week, I may just not even do AM wraps. <laughs> I might just hit the minimum to call it call it good. Hopefully, that's all it takes for a uh, for a, to clear up the tendonitis. Is just you know take a whole week off. And hopefully, I'll be all better by that time. Thank you. 